hanging out while waiting for parked cars to be moved, taking unreported and excessive breaks and lunches, and making unreported stops. All things we spotted when we observed crews that are paid to take care of Toronto's trees. The Auditor General released a report in 2019 that highlighted city management wasn't managing its tree maintenance crews very well. Parks, Forestry and Recreation reported it has taken vigorous steps to meet the Auditor General's recommendations. In July 2020, City Council asked the Auditor General to report further on forestry matters. Although some things have improved, many of the issues are still around, more than a year and a half later. We monitored crews, generally for full days, for over 500 hours over two months. Tree work is not planned out to keep crews productive. Crews still aren't always accurately reporting their time. They spend less time working on trees than reported, take extra unreported breaks throughout the day, and kill time before the end of their shift. Crews don't appear to be always working safely either. They were seen not wearing hard hats, talking on the phone while navigating around wires, and getting too close to the chipper. The Auditor General has made 17 recommendations so that the city can get to the root of these issues. To increase the time crews work on trees, the city has to plan and manage better. This includes improving how it monitors crews, including more effective observation, minimizing downtime due to parked cars, and reducing time spent at yards and driving. The city has to ensure compliance with the contract safety measures, inspect the quality of work done in a timely manner, and implement a better system to verify vendor invoices before paying them. To learn more, visit torontoauditor.ca.